All right. 12 minutes going up to 8 o'clock. That video that went viral on several social media platforms today of what took place at a gated apartment complex in on Bremer Avenue yes. in St. Andrew. Well, we have had some reactions from uh, the managing director of King Alarm, John Piazar. He joins us as well as the attorney for the real estate agent involved in the incident. Christopher Townsend is his lawyer. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Good evening. First of all, first of all, let me begin with you, John Azar. You issued a statement which is instructive. You said, in part, all King Alarm personnel who were present have been pulled from duty pending the outcome of the investigations by ourselves, the police, and other authorities, all of which are already underway, and that you have personally reached out to the firearm holder in the video and expressed your concerns directly to him and assuring him of your availability for further discussions in the coming days. Why have you taken this position? <clears throat> Well, Mr. Hughes, as I said in the statement that we issued, um, in the absence of a complete investigation where all the facts are known, I saw the same videos on social media that have been circulating, and I'd say that there's enough there to concern me. Mm -hmm. So out of an abundance of caution, we've pulled all personnel, not only people who I may have concerns with, all personnel who attended that scene will be withdrawn from duty will have already been withdrawn from duty and how many and are we talking about i believe we had um four or five teams there some of the teams responded long after the fact but again out of an abundance of caution even one of our supervisors who attended the scene i think two hours later when everything had subsided i pulled him from duty as well i mean taking our personnel off the road after an incident like this is standard procedure allows us to question them without their other obligations and mm -hmm. have them cooperate with the other authorities who are conducting their own investigation and the chips will fall where they may you know as anybody who knows me and hopefully knows king alarm know what we stand for and know that i will not tolerate anyone operating contrary to law regardless of where they may work and that mm -hmm. includes at king alarm what in the video gave you particular concern mr azar in the video you saw. Sure amount of things Mr. Hughes. I mean, I pride myself that our personnel act professionally. And I'd say anybody seeing those videos, even without knowing what may have transpired before or after, which I don't think is relevant to my concerns, um, I don't think anybody seeing that would say that all personnel dressed in our uniform appear to have been acting professionally. So, again, out of an abundance of caution, I'm not in a position to say where anyone is right or wrong, I have to allow them due process as well. And a thorough investigation is where all the facts have been known. But out of an abundance of caution, I've taken that action, and I, I think it's prudent in light of what has taken place. Let's bring in um, attorney at law, Christopher Townsend, um, at this juncture. Uh, Mr. Townsend, okay. what can you tell us about uh, your your client uh, at this hour? How is he doing? Um, well, well, first and foremost, um, I know John, um, and the actions that he has taken is in keeping with um, the way how he does things, so I'm not surprised. Um, Mr. Woolery at this time, he has suffered some injuries, um, and certainly um, it has been quite embarrassing for him. Um, he is recovering. He went to the doctor yesterday, and um, he is on the treatment now, as you saw in the video, he had several kicks, one to the head, at least one to the head, um, and he was beaten otherwise. So he's recovering from those injuries. Mm -hmm. What I find um, unusual uh, about this incident is that he's one of the persons that had, in fact, called King Alarm um, to come and assist him um, in, in, the, in the fracas. Really? And um, it turned out that King Alarm... Um, did not assist him much any at all, certainly from the videos. Well, from um, the something I also well, find con um, of concern is that the King Alarm officers did not seek to detain the gentleman who attacked my client. Um, they were focused, guns out, on my client after he was assaulted. 
So I found that to be unusual and unprofessional. Um, John has conceded that certain of these officers acted in an unprofessional manner, and I have no doubt that he will be taking um, usual, the usual measures to <laughs> deal with the matter. Just to clarify briefly, if I could. Yes. First, Mr. Townsend, thank you for your kind words um, as relating to me. I would not say that I have conceded where anyone has acted unprofessionally. There's clearly yes. cause for concern. I would say that, and I say it repeatedly. Um, there are probably certain facts not captured on the, either the videos. However, I'll be very quick to point out, which I said before, irrespective of what might have taken place before, it does not excuse anybody wearing our uniform from acting anything less than profession. My staff are trained to respond and deal with situations under very, very adverse circumstances, and that's what I expect from them. So, irrespective uh, John, of what I, I hear you, John, but when I see a kick to the head, I'm a little bit concerned because the, the person was already subdued by four to five of your officers. As, I also as noticed as I, that your as, officers were holding the gate and preventing anyone from leaving, which, to the best of my knowledge, um, only police officers can do in only certain circumstances. Um, for the, well, to the best of my knowledge, are, they're citizens. Far more Sorry, they are, they're civilians. Than I am. And therefore, but they do not... Hold on, hold on, John. Hold on, John. So, hold on, John. Hello, so, hello Mr. So, Townsend. I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about that, John. Um, especially, and I will declare, um, my home is secured by, by King Alam. And I'll be very concerned that if I call them, that, that, would, be, that would be the kind of response that um, I would get. But, John, but, but so Chris, I, I understand that. Hold on, Mr. Townsend. Mr. Townsend, to be complete, to though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Christopher Townsend. I was watching so Mr. Here, Townsend, was watching Mr. Oh, Townsend, please. I'm saying I saw the videos as well. And just to, be, yes. to give a complete picture, the kick to the head, you could also hear another the King Alarm Guard saying, no, 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 don't do that. Yeah? So just for, for completeness for those who may not have seen it, right? Didn't you so hear that? I appreciate, I appreciate that there may have been guards there that were acting professionally. That's yes. fine. Yes, 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 that's a complete... But there was a kick to the man's head when the man... No was doubt about that, yes. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, have you so received any instructions? Say, remember, you know, remember, you know, what you're looking at is not only the action of one guard or... or, or, or you see, it, 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 it's a company... It's a group of persons acting together. Mm -hmm. John? John Azar? I'm, yeah, yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here, Mr. Hughes. Y your time. Um, yeah, what I was saying is my information, which, again, I don't want to be repetitive, but I'd rather wait until an investigation is completed to comment more fully. But my investigation is that we were summoned to the location, not by the individual in question who Mr. Townsend represents, and we were summoned for a totally different incident, which I'd rather, again, not comment on. I will oh. say again, before I get any more outcry, I mean, you can imagine I've had a pretty busy day, mm -hmm. <laughs> to say that irrespective of what took place prior, mm -hmm. irrespective of what took place prior, I hold my staff an extremely high standard and at the end of the day Mr. Hughes were you to hear other information subsequent and even take a view to say oh well I can understand a bit now I don't take that view because as I repeat my staff are trained to deal with situations under very adverse circumstances they're well trained and I expect them to conduct themselves appropriately. So when I hear a video with a member of our staff using expletives, even something like that to me is absolutely absurd. And it will be addressed. Mr. Azar, you have said that you clearly, um, that, that you don't want to comment um, too much on the matter at hand. However, a lot is in the public domain this evening. The videos uh, have, have gone viral. Don't you think you should, for the sake of context, at least say who summoned you to the property and what was the reason the security, your security um, team was called? 
I'd rather not. Who's that, Mr. Reed? Yes. Yes. Mr. Reed, the gentleman sitting beside you is one of Jamaica's greatest investigative journalists. I think that if you guys want to determine what might have taken place there, I don't need to give you that information. And I will say again, I'm currently off the island. I've changed my plans to be back in office first thing in the morning. But at this point, the comments I'm giving, I have not personally gotten the personnel in front of me, which is my intention. So honestly, I'm not trying to withhold anything from the public, but I'd rather not comment on certain matters simply because my focus at this point is what my officers did, how they behave, and their professionalism or lack thereof. So as I stated in my mm -hmm. statement, we will cooperate we're conducting our own investigation, which is being done actually externally for transparency. We're cooperating with the police, with the firearm licensing authority, all appropriate authorities. All personnel have been pulled from duty, which I think is just a responsible thing to do. And ultimately, at the end of the investigation, we will take the appropriate action. What I can I stress one to... last point is mm -hmm. any body, including to you, Mr. Townsend, as one of our valid clients, anybody found in breach of our standing orders, our code of conduct, the law, or in breach of somebody's human rights, will not wear our uniform thereafter. But I need to allow that process to take place. I can't be like people who see a video or portion of it and then jump in a certain direction. We're an investigative company, and I need to also investigate matters in, a, in, a, in an appropriate well, manner. Uh, we, can, we can appreciate that. Mr. Mr. Townsend, can you tell us, yes. um, I know you'll be representing Mr. Woolery in, in terms of clearing his name of any wrongdoing as it relates to this shooting incident, but have you received any instructions um, from your client with regards to actions he might take against King Alam? Um, oh, my client and I, we have been talking about it. Um, I'll just say this. Um, John did reach out to my client, which I do believe is the correct thing to do. He can always depend on John to do the correct thing. Um, and he has said certain things to uh, my client, which, um, you know, it's an invitation to, to start the, the dialogue, which we will be taking up in the future once the investigation. And finally, uh, well, thank you. And finally, the, the gentleman that was the individual that was shot in the ordeal. Uh, either okay. of you can tell us um, this condition he's in as at this hour? To the best of my knowledge, um, it was it was akin to a graze, and so it is not life-threatening. Mm. And, and he's the employee to your um, company, uh, Mr. Azar? Absolutely not, sir. He's a third party, <laughs> and again, that's one of the things that when you look at videos, I've heard people say, oh, our employee in a blue shirt attacked Mr. Townsend, etc. Absolutely not. He's a third party, unbeknownst to me. As a no, if he had attacked me, uh, Mr. it would have been an entirely different affair. <laughs> no, he attacked Mr. Woodrow. No, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I meant, I meant your client. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Well, all right. Thank you, you gentlemen. Um, we'll have to leave it there. Um, we are out of time, but we want to thank uh, the, John Azar, the Managing Director of King Alam and Attorney at Law, Christopher Townsend, for having joined us. Thank you, gentlemen. You'll be hearing from us in the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you. And I should also declare lest I be accused that I'm a client of King Alam, a long-standing client of John Azar and King Alam. I know them for years. Yes? So...